Hi, I'm Anne from Sort My Books, and this video is to show you how to put in your opening balances on Sort My Books. By the end of this video, you should know where to put in all of the opening balances for all the items on your trial balance and how to check that you've put these things in correctly. If you're starting with last year's trial balance, that's great. But if you don't have all this information prepared right now, that's okay. You can put in what you do have and you can put in the rest as you get it. Before we start putting in any opening balances, we need to check that the correct start date is on the client's file. So I'm going to show you first where to go and sort my books to check on that. You need to click on Home and then click on Settings and then you click on Accounting and you're looking at this date here, the first accounting year in SMBO. So what that means is the start date that the client is starting their Sort My Books from. So we can see for this client, it's the 1st of January. Now that we've established the correct starting date, I just want to draw your attention to a few items that we do not enter on Sort My Books through the journals. Those items are the fixed assets, the debtors, the bank accounts, and the creditors. Those all go in through a particular place in Sort My Books, and that's what we're going to look at next. So we're going to start with debtors. So as you can see on our sample here, the debtors opening balance from last year is €12,000. So to put in debtors opening balances, we're going to Sales, and then you click on Customers, and we can see we've got two customers here. We've got Homer Simpson and the Quickie Mart. So we're going to say Homer owes us 7000 from last year. So what you do is you click on Homer and you click on the opening balance. And you add in an opening balance invoice. So you click here. You select the VAT rate. If it's more than one VAT rate, you can add another line. So it will say Homer owes us 7000 and if we have the invoice number from last year, that's great. Um, as you can see, the date, it's automatically um, setting itself to the 31st of December 2010. Now, what you're not able to do in here is add in a date that's after the beginning of the accounting year. So we're going to say we sent this invoice to Homer last November and we're still waiting for payment in January. So what this does is it feeds into the customer statements so that your client will be able to send out accurate customer statements but also it goes into the trial balance. I've also added in an opening debtor balance for 5000 for Quickie Mart. So we're going to have a look and see how did those opening debtors affect the trial balance. So you click on report, click on ledger reports and click on trial balance. And if you scroll down until we get to the current assets section, so you can see the debtor's balance here is 12,000. So that's made up of Homer's 7 and the Quickie Mart's 5,000. And if you go down to the capital section, you'll see in the opening balances, there's also a 12,000. So what automatically happens in the background is when you create an opening debtor, an opening balance invoice, it automatically debits the debtors and credits the opening balances. So we're finished with debtors. We're going to move to creditors next. And as you can imagine, almost identical. So we're not going to go into too much detail, just a quick overview. So to put in the opening creditors, you click on purchases and click on suppliers. And we're going to click on Troy McClure and we're going to click on opening balance to add in Troy's opening balance invoice. We can see Troy's opening balance invoice of 6,000. So we're just going to pop down to the trial balance and see what's happened on there. So if you scroll down your trial balance to the current liabilities section, you can see you've got a 6,000 euro opening balance for creditors. And if you scroll down to the opening balance, it's reduced now to 6,000. So what's happened is we've automatically credited creditors whenever you put an opening balance invoice in there. 
and it then does a corresponding debit to opening balance. That's creditors taken care of. We're going on to bank accounts next. We can see we've got three accounts that we need to put in an opening balance for. We've got a current account, we've got a term loan account, and a credit card account. So click on accounts and bank, and this is where we put in the opening balance for all the bank accounts. Before I do that, I just want to click on term loan to show you something. When you set up a bank account, you need to select the correct type because the type determines where on the trial balance it's going to go. So just to show you what the options are, we've got bank, which would be like a current account. You have a cash account, a credit card account, contra, um, we've drawings account. So sole traders, they would set up a drawings account in here, a loan account, short term loan, till for retailers. And also the TCA, TCL, these are like tax accounts. So the TCA would be like the professional services withholding tax. TCL would be for, let's say, RCT tax. So if your client has done their own, set up all their own bank accounts, it might be an idea for you to come in here and just have a look to see that they are set up to the correct type. The loan account balance is 15,000. So I'm going to put that in here in opening balance. But it's, I've got to put in a minus because it's 15000 that we owe. I'm moving on to the current account. To put in the opening balance on the current account, on our trial balance it says that we've got 20000 and it's on the debit side. So we know that that's 20000 in credit. So we can just put our 20000 in there. We also know because it's on the trial balance, we know that that's a reconciled opening balance. There's one more thing that I want to make you aware of on, let's say, the current account. So if your client has put in their own bank accounts, what they would put in here for opening balance would be the opening balance that's on their bank statement. So let's say their bank statement on the 1st of January actually said they had 21000 in the bank, but they had an uncleared check from last year. So what they would do is put in their uncleared check for €1,000 See, it automatically has last year's date. This will help them with reconciling their bank account. But what it does, when you click back on bank, you see that the bank balance is actually 20,000. So the uncleared checks from last year are automatically factored into the opening balance. The final account we've got to deal with is the credit card account. So from the trial balance, the balance on the credit card account was 3,000. So we know that we owe the credit card company 3000 So again, it's going to go in as a minus here. So we put in minus 3000 Click OK. And you can see your three bank balances there. Before we move on to fixed assets, I wanted to show you another look at the trial balance to see what's going on there. So if you scroll down your trial balance down to current assets, we can see there's our debtors of 12000 the bank account is showing that we have 20,000. Down in current liabilities, we've got 6,000 for creditors liability, 3,000 that we owe the credit card. Scroll a bit further down and the long-term liability is 15,000. So that makes our net assets 8,000, which we can see matches our opening balance. We've completed bank accounts. So we're now gonna move on to fixed assets and putting in opening balances for our fixed assets. To record a fixed asset, you click on Accounts, Fixed Assets, and you click on Add New. We're going to give it a name, so in this case it's a website. There's various types, but we website doesn't fit into any of those categories, so we're going to leave it at Other. So you put in here the original purchase cost. So this is an asset that we're putting in as an opening balance. We know the original purchase was €8,000. The date acquired. So if you have the date acquired, we're going to say this one was purchased around the middle of last of the previous accounting year. Leave, do you have a purchase invoice on file? You leave that unticked. That would only be for any fixed assets that you're adding after your client has started Sort My Books. The opening balance assets would leave that unticked. Now, next we want to put in the accumulated depreciation. So what is the amount of the depreciation so far on this asset? In this case, it's 1,000 euro. Click OK. 
and if you click on your fixed asset you can see what's happened here it's automatically created the journals so you have a fixed asset it's credited opening balances and it's debited fixed assets for 8000 then the accumulated depreciation has been credited by 1000 and debited opening balances i've added in our other fixed asset which is the office equipment we can see the purchase cost for that was 4000 and the current net book value is three and a half thousand. We're just going to have a look now at the trial balance again to see what's going on there. So back at the trial balance, if you scroll down until you get to fixed assets, you can see the equipment and furniture for four thousand, other which is our website for eight thousand, and then we can see the equipment and furniture depreciation and the other depreciation. So if we scroll down again to the bottom to our capital section. We can see our net assets currently are 18,500. We still have 18,500 in opening balances. So our goal is to get opening balances to zero. So we still have another few items that need to be entered. Now that we've done fixed assets, that's the last thing on the opening balances that has to be entered in through a different place than the journals. We're going to move on now to everything else that's on your trial balance can get entered in straight through journals. So we're going to have a look at that next. We're now ready to move on to journals. So you click on accounts, click on journals, click on add, and the date that we're going to put in, these are all our opening balance journals. So I'm going to put in the last day of the previous accounting year. The first one I'm putting in is for corporation tax repayable. So that means it's corporation tax that we're owed as a refund. The description I'm going to put in opening balance journals. So the first thing that we're doing because we're owed back the corporation tax I'm going to debit corporation tax and I'm going to credit opening balance and then you can go ahead and click on OK. So once you've done that you can now click on this journal entry and just keep adding new lines to it. So the next item that we've got is in this case, because we owe the payroll tax, we're going to debit opening balance and we're going to credit payroll tax and the amount is for 7000 Click save on that and you keep going with each one. So the same idea for VAT. In the case of prepayments, we want to debit the prepayment and we're crediting the opening balance. So as you can see, I'm just doing the opposite to the opening balance of whatever I'm doing to the main nominal. So we've got prepayments here of 10,000. Click save on that. Add new line and we do for the accruals. So in the case of the accruals we're going to debit the opening balance and we're going to credit our accruals. And our accruals is for 7,000. And the final two is our share capital and retain profits brought forward. So share capital, again, I'm going to uh, debit opening balances and I'm going to credit the share capital. The share capital is 127 euro. And then my final one is retained profits brought forward. So I'm debiting opening balance and I'm crediting retained profits brought forward which is 13,573. Click on save and then you click OK to save your opening balance journal. Our final activity then is to check our trial balance one more time. If you go to trial balance and you scroll down, you can see our fixed assets, our current assets, current liabilities. You can see the way the corporation tax there is showing up in red as minus 4,200. That's because even though it's in the liabilities, it's actually an asset because we're owed that money back. So you keep scrolling down, you see your net assets is 13,700 and our capital is also 13,700. So these two are matching. Our opening balance is back to zero. Share capital, 127. Retained earnings brought forward, 13,573. So I hope that gives you a good insight into how to input your opening balances on Sort My Books.
Thank you for listening.